is the T of the Jeffree Star, the gloss um, <laughs> range or lip glosses that he has. I feel like people say here's the T when they're about to say something negative. It's not negative per se, but it's something he said about the lip glosses, is, uh, lip glosses and they're not 100% true. So I picked two up. So um, he's got some that are high shine and then some that are glittery so I picked one of each so in the high shine I picked it up in the shade midnight lick I want to say that says lick it's Jeffree Star so it probably says lick uh, but yeah this is like a a black slash grey um, lip gloss and then this one here which is in the shade sky Hi, so it's going to show on the camera it's showing it quite bright but it's like it's it's yeah this camera is not capable with it very well I might have to swatch this one to show you properly oh wait if I go in closer you can see it a little bit better um so anyway <coughs> it's like an iridescent iridescent color so first these two are both different formulas. So first, we'll get to how they apply and everything like that. So uh, these are quite thick. Like they're not like thick as in like they feel heavy on the lips, but it's quite a thick formula. They do apply um, quite well. I'll show you the actual applicator. So this is what the applicator looks like. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's basically it's just a flat wand and it's kind of bent. Now the last um product I tried that had a flat wand was by BH Cosmetics. It was a lot, don't get me wrong, it was a lot flatter than this. It was more of like a paddle. But I do prefer those applicators when it comes to lip glosses just because they do pick up or any lip liquid lip product because they do pick up a lot more product than your normal like do for applicator so I do prefer like the flat um, applicator compared to the doom applicator just because it picks up more product so the formulas so first off I tried this one now this one apply really well I was waiting to like insult the, the gloss because the amount of times you know when it comes to high end I don't like sticky formulas now when it comes to lip glosses I don't mind sticky formulas in like whatever but if I'm paying a high end product I don't want them at all really like try, try the KKW uh, lip gloss that was cry that was quite sticky that wasn't even a little bit sticky that was quite sticky which kind of pissed me off because the price I paid for it um but yeah or did I get it in the sack? Either way, I wasn't happy with it because it was sticky. So when I applied this one, I was like, wow, this actually isn't sticky. He he was right. And that was until I tried the glittery one, which I'll get to in a minute. So um, when it comes to application, applied really well. As I said, not, not sticky at all. Um, this is where I know I didn't watch proper reviews of this but a lot of people will complain that it doesn't last long and that's because people are stupid and they know that glosses don't last that long um, just because it's a gloss now with the high shines obviously the darker you're going to go the more obvious it's going to look when it does start to wear away so with this colour I'm more likely probably going to prefer putting it on top of a lipstick because the way this wears away obviously it depends on you know how it, lip glosses wear away with you but for me it wears away like in the middle of my bottom lips first and then like the middle of my top lips and then it will I'll be la left with colour like around like a lip liner around the lips so I mean it's a nice colour and everything but it's definitely not something that I'd um, like wear if I know I'm going to be like out like drinking and eating quite often I mean it does wear away anyway uh, without you know drinking and eating and, and stuff like that but obviously it's going to be worse if I'm drinking and eating more now onto this formula I will say with both of them when it comes to application it feels like I'm getting a tingling sensation which is really weird especially with this one here um, I don't think you mentioned there was anything that made your lips like look like bigger because obviously what what's the word for it the um 
Uh, there's a word for it. You know the ones that give the tingling sensation that's meant to make your lips obviously look bigger, but really they don't. They just annoy me. It felt like they were tingling. I was like, am I allergic to this? But then it disappeared after like a minute. But it was really weird and scary. So I don't know what ingredients are in her which I could be allergic to. Um, there is another lip gloss that I can't really use by L'Oreal. It's only one of the colours as well that gives me a tingling uh, sensation, which is really weird. But it be interesting to know what ingredients are in it. Obviously, you can check on the box, but it's all gobbledygook for me. So, if you have guys have any ideas what may be causing the tingling, then let me know. As I said, it only lasts for like a minute and it disappeared. Now, with this, this is where the tea happens. This formula is sticky. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not overly sticky, but it is a sticky, sticky formula. And Jeffree Star did say that the formula was not sticky at all with any of the lip glosses. He didn't go, oh, the high shine ones are not sticky, but the glittery ones are a little bit sticky. Um, so there's that. It could be. I'm guessing it's all the same. So I'm guessing all the gloss ones are non-sticky, and all the glitter ones are a little bit sticky. My guessing to that is maybe he had to make the formula a little bit like sticky so the glitters get mixed in the formula properly. I don't know. But because it is a little bit sticky, it does adhere to the lips a little bit better. So it does last a lot it does last a little bit longer than the high shine one. So there is that. So doing that it made me think that's probably why a lot of lip glosses will have a little tackiness to them just because it does adhere to the lips a little bit better as opposed to do as supposed to do a pose opposed to doing a lip gloss where there's no stickiness whatsoever because it's just gonna wear away a lot quicker. So that's made me think about that. Um so yeah now these are the same price as the immunish immune <laughs> I can never say that <coughs> the ammunition ones and the obviously these normal liquid lipsticks. Now when I try the immune <laughs> the what's it lipsticks I'm gonna say again I thought they were overpriced I said I definitely think you should bring the prices down for that they're not worth the price um, with these I'm kind of a bit stuck because the glittery ones are really really unique like the high sharing ones the only unique one is probably this one but with the glitter ones are really they're really um unique and everything with like the colors the glitters and everything like that a lot of them look really nice so it's like is it worth 18 quid that sort of thing i mean i'm, I'm on the fence i probably wouldn't pay 18 dollars for the the high gloss ones but i might for the glittery ones because as i said they are quite unique and everything like that so overall they're not they're not completely stick sticky they're not completely non-sticky unless you do get the high shine ones which don't have any stickiness at all which i'm guessing because this one doesn't and the only glitter one i've tried it does and so i'm guessing it's to do with the formula and the glitters getting the glitters like mixed in uh, properly with the formula I'm guessing but as an overall they are glosses so they're not going to last that long on the lips but just to take note that the high gloss ones will last a less well that I'll say it this way because it sounds better but it all makes more English the glittery ones are gonna last a little bit longer than the high gloss ones just because they are sticky so they adhere to the lips a little bit better than just the high shine ones with no glitter in them whatsoever so that's it for this review so bye guys